I think sometimes people can get a little bit too protective of this idea of intellectual property and they can get very hyperbolic when they can complain about their work being <laughs> stolen. It can also be very unhelpful in pointing out problems that... He becomes more Joker-like as time goes on in this video, by the way. Like, he's, <laughs> oh, good, the Joker good. comes out. So yeah, we got this silver face fucker here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Um, it's a great look, I think. Straight out of Wizard of Oz. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I actually think that he he maybe, like, this is actually just lead. Like, there's some lead in that paint. And he's kind of, like, losing his mind as the video is recorded. I broke out of his lips as so well. Much. Well, for those of you who, uh, you know, maybe would expect context for something like this whenever a video starts. No, uh, no you, context. You came to the no, wrong video. I but I yes. guess we'll tell you real quick. So this guy is making a case against, or for, rather, rather, he's making a case that people who are uh, critical and skeptical, even outright against AI art, uh, are, are he literally is relating them to the Luddites, historical Luddites, which he spent several minutes giving a primer on. Entirely too long. And what, and and what is a Luddite, Dane? Uh, they, are, they were uh, textile workers. That didn't like the newfangled technology that was allowing you know textiles to be you know uh, i guess made Exiley. much faster more efficiently i don't you know whatever it's people that you know nowadays it's colloquially used as people for people who are against whatever new emerging technology uh and and usually it's kind of uh, meant to be like they're irrationally so right yeah and so he calls uh yeah. several people that he's he literally shows several of them in uh, on his video he's gonna zero in on one that I've, it's the only one I've watched so far. It's him talking about this one guy, but there was a uh, Nerd Sync, there was Vosh, there was. I know there was ones that my daughter watches. But he he's, he literally says that they're deranged, which is you know that's take man. Like it's yeah. one thing to be for this stuff, but like to think that people are deranged because mm -hmm. well, once you hear his arguments, it, you might get as mad well, as I did. I don't know. I mean, let me go ahead and and go ahead and voice some stuff about AI real fast because I think. AI could be a really powerful tool, but mm -hmm. we are using it wrong. Like um, AI right now, like I think there's a great meme that really broke it down. The meme was essentially um, AI was supposed to do the menial work so I could focus on art. It wasn't supposed to do art so I could do menial work. And that, <laughs> that's, that's what a lot of these corporations are pushing it on. It's like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll have an AI movie. We'll do AI art. It's like, that's garbage. No, people do art. Mm -hmm. It, you know, if you want to figure out how to make AI do like a lot of the tasks that frankly people don't want to do, that's great. And then we can work out the economy issues and stuff like that because that, you know, we can't be cutting people's salaries or anything like that. But we could definitely have people working less and, and contributing just as much society through AI. Yeah. But like yeah. we have to use it correctly. Medical advancements, like, the, yeah. you know, diagnostic, pro like, so there's a lot of areas that AI, AI could fucking change the game for, like, the species, you know, mm -hmm. um, but, like, yeah, with, with art, really, and yeah, it just seems it's like not a gonna, AI is not going to mm -hmm. help the species through making shitty uh, 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 pictures or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, six-fingered uh, fucking yeah. Uh, surreal pictures of people or whatever. Because, um, yeah, like, and art, then, art is a, is, is human. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it is it is something it does not exist like without humans. We, we are the ones who do art. We are the ones who appreciate art. We're the ones who look at a canvas with some paint on it. And then we say this is a piece of art, you know, or this these moving pictures. That's art. You know, it, it, no matter how much the AI tries, it, it will never be that. This guy disagrees Absolutely. with you. Uh, this guy uh, who may just be a robot himself. I mean, look, his face is silver. Uh, starting, yeah, he's uh, whew, here we go. Well, maybe this okay, guy will so blow my mind. <laughs> maybe he will. Maybe he's gonna lay out some fucking airtight arguments, right? Mm -hmm. Pointless, but I don't think that they're necessarily silly because one misconception about Luddites is that they hate new technology, which is not true. They are critics of new technology. They take the important role of the pessimist in looking at something, trying to find its flaws and pointing them out, which of course is important because unless we know what our problems are, we can't solve them. However, I want to stress that in my reading of history, one thing I have found very plain. 
Modern problems require modern solutions. No positive social change has ever been achieved by rolling back the clock. I am what's called a progressive. And this leads me to the point of this video, which is that while pessimism can be helpful in pointing out problems that do exist, um, I take issue with the way that he described himself as a progressive there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I don't know that, that I'm, I suppose I maybe take for granted when I say progressive, like if I say I'm progressive, I'm generally relating it somewhat to being on the left, being a leftist. Uh, mm -hmm. But I do know that, that that doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. But I mean, you know, when, whenever I say pr progress, and I'm sure you guys too, you're thinking about specific uh, things about like, you know, uh, historical injustices that need to progress in you know things like yeah. that um yeah. i don't think Impro he means it that way shit, yeah. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. he's no just trying to say that like well time goes forward so sorry about sorry about your fucking luck suckers who cares if you get trampled over the by the you know the wheels of time or whatever um, yeah i don't know we'll how thoughtful well let's see we'll see it can also be very unhelpful in pointing out problems that he becomes more Joker-like as time goes on in this video, by the way. Like, he's, <laughs> oh, good, the Joker good. comes out. Don't exist. And many of the problems raised by these modern AI Luddites are fucking stupid, especially in the realm of AI art. As far as I'm concerned, there is one very important, very legitimate fear from this new AI technology, and that is the inability to dis determine what is real and what is fake, which of course you can imagine will lead to many fraud scams and shams and even worse terrorism, big disinformation campaigns, confusion in our criminal courts. So yes, AI does pose an existential threat to our way of life, but that's where my concern ends. And I think bashing AI and pretending it doesn't have any good uses is not the way to handle the situation. I'm, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm glad you paused there because I mean, he said that and in my mind, I'm just thinking, so you're just going to say that's the only issue of AI and then not discount all other possible issues. I mean, my God, that's <laughs> all I'm saying is that it sounds like he he's already come to a conclusion about, oh, hey, the years are, these, this is the only problem AI could possibly have. And there's nothing else. And then just dis well, discounting I mean, everything Yeah, just out. a minute ago, like, he was oh. saying it's important to have other alternate, yeah. you know, alternate voices on the thing to be critical of new things so that mm -hmm. we can, and, but then like he just outright rejects anything. Because yeah. he's a progressive. Right, yeah. that's what progressives progressive do. Progressive means yes. you re reject all criticism. <laughs> it's like, you know, he's like the same way Peacemaker is Peacemaker, right? Like he's progress at all costs. I'm like a bloodbath to start the day. They call you peacemaker. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. And things he's um, already set up a little bit of a straw man because he also mentioned there at the end, you know, I was saying like some people just don't see any value in AI art. All right. And now we progress in the video. <laughs> progress. And in the realm of art specifically, a lot of the conversation is framed around this ridiculous fuddy-duddy, backwards, closed-minded perspective, which is, of course, the stereotype that the term Luddite has acquired over the years. So I have here a selection of various AI Luddite YouTubers, and I want to address their concerns from my pro-AI perspective. And I have... Real quick, uh, he's using the term uh, Luddite. Do you know, you guys know how he's using it as? As a oh. slur? Well, I was thinking as a thought terminating cliche, but oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> even though he did like what's kind of what's kind of tricky and, and it kind of actually pisses me off even more to, when I think about it is that he did start out by saying like he gave plenty of nuance for how a person called a luddite, you know, like he's not doing like your typical chud stuff that we typically see in a chud video, right? Where mm -hmm. he's like he's actually offered some context for for the words he's using, but then he goes on to con and use that word in this specific way anyway. And it's yeah. like, so we know he knows better. Um, he's just choosing to do it anyway. That I personally disagree with. Uh, some of these videos make some pretty good points, uh, but they have maybe one or two things that I don't like. And so I picked those ones out to talk about those ones specifically. It doesn't mean that everything said in the video was bad or wrong. I'm not against criticizing AI. I'm just against 
having a reactionary mindset toward it. And it's surprisingly easy for people to jump <laughs> onto the bandwagon in this manner. Okay, so like he's using, uh, wow, the language he's using is progressive, reactionary, and stuff like that. I'd mm -hmm. really like to know what his actual politics are because I yeah. feel like they probably wouldn't. Uh, yeah, but like when you hear, God damn it, just let's just get to it because holy mm -hmm. shit, this is stupid. The video that prompted me to make this rant was a video I saw by a guy a guy called nerd sync who uh titled it ai companies stole my video okay so two things one i've seen this video um yeah and then two nerd sync uh did a video i mean he's done lots of videos that i like but like i wanted to do youtube for a couple of years before i ever made a video because i would kind of like talk myself out of it um you know, be like, I don't know if anybody cares to hear what I have to say. I don't know if I'm going to be good at it. I don't know. You know, all these doubts and shit. Yeah. Um, and then he his video about Thor and Thor's character arc in Endgame. Uh, there's a point in that video where he reaches where he's just like, you know, talking about Thor realizing, you know, he was he was worthy the whole time kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and, and I was like, I remember I fucking had an emotional reaction to that shit. It was like, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to fucking make my, <laughs> my video. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got to nice. give Scott his credit for uh, kicking me in the ass with his video. Get me started. Awesome. Yeah. Now, if you're like me, you might be wondering, how the fuck do you steal a YouTube video? How do you steal something that's been put online for free for everyone to watch? So this is where I started to get like what fucking fuck? lose yeah. my shit because it's like he just, you know, he's he does understand, you know, uh, uh, copyright and an ip and and yeah he, he has to but it's yeah. like that's why i think that he's a fucking ai degenerate fucking uh yeah you know uh scumbag honestly because like he's ignoring all that pretending like he doesn't even, what is this ip copyright what, yeah. whatever you know who, who even mean, owns possession like it's a video on the internet yeah. it's free for it and he's I'm, making that like diminishing the, the the idea of owning the content that you create yeah. so that he can fucking push ai bullshit yeah, because because he knows he has to do that, right? If you're mm -hmm. pro AI art, then you also need to have this stance. You need to act like uh, there is no copyright that you can just take anyone's content and use it for your own gain, because that is what AI art does. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. It it just takes things that are made before by other people and just turns it into something, you know. But it's still taking content from other people, something that other artists have already done. You know, so yeah, he I mean, intellectual property has been around for quite a while, you know? Yeah. I mean, there, there are people on the left, you know, I guess more radical leftists. I don't tend to agree with these. I haven't heard an argument that I actually think is really sound on this, but like, you know, there are leftists and stuff that believe that uh, IP shouldn't exist that, you know, uh, just like I've the same heard way that, that and I have mixed feelings on it. Um, that being yeah. said, once, once AI came out, I'm, I came much more into, um, yeah, that shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's... Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to start seeing a lot more of this shit, but, like, it'd be one thing if he goes on to then lay out some kind of, even you know, argument for why he thinks we shouldn't care so much about IP or copyright or whatever. Yeah. Um, just, he doesn't do just, that. Just keep in mind, if he claims this video, I'm going to laugh my ass <laughs> off. <laughs> and be copied infinitely <laughs> of course this is a rhetorical question because when people talk about their content being stolen what they are talking about is it being used without their permission and i can kind of understand this i mean let's say you're a bob i didn't steal your car okay i just used it without your permission oh well shit, you're right you're i have to push back when, against when can that I get it back? <laughs> There is a distinction, right? Like, as far as like, you remember those old those old uh, commercials that would be like, you wouldn't steal a DVD player, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so you wouldn't steal a music or whatever the hell it was. But like, but if we're we're talking about a physical thing that there's a finite number of versus a, a in, infinitely copyable digital file, yeah, I, I there is some distinction there, and I, I feel like we have to make that. I do. I, I can't honestly, yeah, with my, you mm -hmm. know. So there, there yeah. is a distinction. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe it doesn't literally. It, it, it's more like the potential for fucking me over than it is like it's actually no. going to fuck me over. Well, yeah. I mean, like, like, like it, in, in, yeah, in the sense say. that if, if I steal your video, right, you still have your video. It's still up. 
right. you know, uh, mm -hmm. un unlike a car. If you steal a car, right. then it's yeah, that is true. But if you have a, but the thing is too that you could uh, you could be taking views from that video, and now you're yes. making those views your video or your, your views. Um, yeah, which is where it becomes... I mean, there, there, there was a whole thing about this not too long ago with streamers who mm -hmm. would put on a video and then just leave for the duration of that video, and yeah, and and they, that is just taking views. You know, a yeah. bunch of people would never click on that video now because they've already watched it on the stream. Well, and then that, you know that takes you something could... away. You could quibble, and I'm not saying I take this. I just I like to, you know, take arguments as far as I can, whether I'm yeah, on good, that good side or not. But like, you, uh, you could say that there's no guarantee that any of those people would have watched that video independently. That is true, but you're taking away the possibility. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, exactly. You you destroy the possibility and limit uh, the potential for that creation. So I think that's why I defer back to that. The, the and I, I, for me, the the difference has always been listen. Um, if you want, like when it comes to the, the music thing in particular, the diff reason why I kind of view music different from the, the, uh, YouTubers and shit like that, because when you're, uh, t downloading music illegally, you're taking money from these studios that are pretty much robbing these artists anyway. In a lot of cases, uh, these yeah. are multi-billionaires that are just fucking over artists for the most part. And they're the ones that are getting 99, maybe 100% of all the money they would give. Because when you're, when you're downloading music, you're taking yeah. food out of Lars Ulrich's kids' mouths. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, yeah. yeah, these are these are really fucking unbelievably rich guys compared to like a YouTuber who that video might be part of how he sustains himself for the month. Yep. Um, there is a difference between those two massively. Um, I, I mean, I don't we know like somebody like they're remotely the same. They're rem we know somebody that literally relies on his YouTube videos, and he, you know, he gets really good views compared to us, anyway. Uh, yeah. But like, you know, and and if but if he kind of had a video stolen or whatever, we're talking about pillar of garbage. Like, you know, I've I've talked to him a good bit about this, and like, he has to work. Like, he pays his bills with his YouTube revenue and shit mm -hmm. and Patreon. So like, if he somebody were to take some views or whatever, then that, that could be significant to him. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to have that problem, but you know, yeah, one day. Mm -hmm. I agree. Researcher, it's your profession to research. You get paid. They people commission research from you. Let's say you do a bunch of research for a company, and then they just decide to use your research without paying. It's weird that he goes to a, a comparison that isn't anything really like what we're talking about mm -hmm. here. So like, lots of so real quick. And you can quibble about the morality of this, but when frequently when you work for a company, they pretty much have you sign over that anything you develop while working for them is theirs. Yep. You know, and we can quibble over that if we if you want to, but like. But generally, you have signed a contract do. before you yeah. start working for them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's kind of odd that he just likes to ignore these these little mm -hmm. things, nuances, and compare two things that really aren't comparable. That I think is, you know, you would be right to be angry at that because the thing that you wouldn't have done otherwise if you weren't getting paid for it, um, now people are just stealing it and you don't get paid for it. Um, fair enough. However, I think sometimes people can get a little bit too protective of this idea of intellectual property and they can get very hyperbolic when they can complain about their work being <laughs> stolen. 29 videos of mine were swiped from YouTube by large tech companies who used those videos to train their AI chatbots without my knowledge or consent. You're gonna have to bear with me in this video because I am a little pissed off. So to get right to the point, I just don't know why he's upset about this. For most of this video, he talks about this as if this is some big scandal, but he doesn't really explain why, almost like we as an audience are just supposed to know why this guy is so offended by this happening. Remember when OpenAI showed off their Sora video generation program and one of the executives was asked this question. What data was used to train Sora? We used publicly available data and licensed data. So videos <laughs> on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. Okay. Okay, real quick. When she says publicly available data or licensed data, that pretty much means fucking anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. If she because it, well, it wasn't that, she would just say licensed data and that's it. Yeah. Or, or publicly available data. Just, yeah. It's, yeah. 
Yeah. I think we all knew what that meant. I don't know why this woman was so uh, sus about the whole thing. It's probably because there's legal issues involving YouTube specifically and their terms of service that she doesn't want. It's what he's doing is he's like he's aware that YouTube does have a legal, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, dog in this fight, so to speak. But he's like completely ignoring the fucking content creators' rights. Yeah. yeah. Like, I can't imagine why they would do this. It, you know, it might be because, you know, YouTube uh, has rules that you're not allowed to do it. But, like, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? What do you, tell you mean? What, this, if this becomes a video upload, we got I got the screen grab right there. It's going to be perfect for that. Um, oh, that is good. That's a good screen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, right so, <laughs> so, so I don't know, like, if, if, if he's going to get more into that. But, like, his whole thing about asking why uh, why someone would be upset that 23 of your videos have been used to train an AI art uh, or, like, AI machine, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and I think there's a bunch of different reasons why you'd be upset about that. Yeah, and, you and I guess extrapolate reasons why, like, it kind of compounds when you think yeah, about it. Like, mm -hmm. like, a AI is is built on like yeah they they take things that are already made to train this thing so that it can make more stuff that are similar you know that's like also going get... to be taking uh taking market away from like market share away from you and you mm -hmm. know exactly if if <laughs> if if someone then used that AI that had been trained based on this person's videos that he has put his own uh, effort and and creative liberty into and they then make a separate youtube channel with videos created from this ai machine that is basically just producing things based on his videos then that would take some market away from him you know that would be taking something away from him mm -hmm. that and that's just one reason there's plenty of other reasons why someone be, would not be okay with this Hey, listen, well, I have been paying attention to what you guys have been saying, but I, I want to announce my new YouTube channel made entirely of AI. It's going to be called <laughs> TurfBot. Um, it, it's just coincidence. But I'll be uploading videos to it every day. Um, we'll just nice. be spitting them out so fast. Um, you won't even be able to compete. Uh, where you we won't, got, you are you we won't give about? up on your own channels because you're going to be just kind of disillusioned with how fucking much <laughs> yeah. content I'm cranking out. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've, I've just made my newest channel called Artificial <laughs> Fandom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. AF copyright. Um, <laughs> because the way she's talking about it makes it seem way like she's doing something way more shady and nefarious than she's actually doing. Because even though YouTube might have a problem with this sort of thing, I don't have a problem. So, oh, nice. He's like, look, man, I don't fucking care. So, like, why do you care? Kind of thing. Like, this is. This <laughs> yeah. is Look, I'm not trying to say that this guy is this or anything, but like this is almost exactly what I imagine a rapist thinks. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I was, I was like, about to, like yeah. well, you can take this down. <laughs> you can take this down some horrible fucking paths. Right. Yeah. That logic, that type of logic, mm -hmm. you know, is is the, uh, you know, kind of just removing the agency of another person. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Listen, it didn't hurt me, so I don't know why you're so right. shit. <laughs> this thing you that happened like, to you kind of. Yeah, this this thing that happened to you is didn't hurt me at all. So I don't know why you're upset about it. <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect way to phrase it. Like, holy shit! I'm with it, and so to me, it just looks kind of silly. That was a bit ago. The reason I'm making oh. this video right now is because as of the day that I am recording this, there was an article by Proof, a non-profit investigative journalism organization that showed how large corporations, billion, trillion dollar companies used thousands of YouTube videos to train AI. Again, this is something that we all sort of suspected, but this article went a little further. The folks at Proof created a tool where you can type in a YouTube channel or I think even a video name and see if it was used to train these AI chatbots. A lot of large creators, you know, people I respect and follow, showed that their videos had been used, hundreds of their videos had been used uh, for these AI models. And so I thought, well, it's really only the big creators, the millions of subscriber channels, right? But out of curiosity, I did type in my own name. Well, not my own name, my channel's name, obviously. And yep, sure enough. I was there. 30 results, 29 of which are my own videos, and one of which was a collab I did uh, with Abigail from Philosophy Tube. So, you know, I haven't watched past much further than this in this video, but I, I'm, I don't believe that he gets any more fucking honest with how he's presenting this shit. 
Um, yeah. What he does now is he basically he starts to attack uh, Scott being, you know, uh, invested emotionally in this uh, at all. Like he kind of starts like chuckling about how like, oh, he's so upset. <laughs> You know, um, kind of just sociopath of behavior generally. In a way. Yeah. Hey, why, 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 why do you have emotional reaction? There is a, 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 uh, an artificial being who is taking your content. That is a good thing. You should be happy. Do you not realize that that AI is is amazing and better than people? And people, yeah. really should, they don't matter. Kind of compared to this. Have Have you thought that maybe your emotional reactions is the reason that you're getting upset right now? And that if you squander them, then then maybe you will not have these emotional reactions. Like, have bro, you thought about the fact that your emotional reactions are the reason why AI is going to take your place? Yeah. Oh, oh. didn't think that my name would pop up in these search results. And when they did... <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I... I... I love the way he's treating this like this is some big fucking like fucking traumatic event that happened to him. Like it's some moral outrage. How dare they use my videos for a productive purpose? How dare they use material that I created in the production of new technology? Am I the Yeah, I, 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 I understand what you, you said earlier about him just getting more and more Joker-esque. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. like fucking becoming <laughs> his, head, his, his head's getting more wobbly and like yeah. <laughs> I want to I want us to make sure we hear this sentence that he's saying right now. Like let me right. start right here because it's like wow man, how does he not? I don't know. He just says this shit like fucking traumatic event that happened to him. Like it's some moral outrage. How dare they use my videos? for a productive purpose how dare they use material that i created in the production of new real quick i think it's a little bit uh, of a stretch to say they it's 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 ai it's a computer run by uh, uh billion dollar companies just just put it in yeah, context because the thing is is that people would know better people don't do that unless they mm -hmm. want to get you know uh slapped with some dmca or whatever yeah but when it comes to ai apparently it, it's just whatever sure why not technology am i the only one who doesn't see the problem here if i think so yeah <laughs> mm. i mean he probably has some some audience that there there are people yeah. who fucking well the good news is their meta ai but the good news is and we, we can go and look at it uh because I, I really don't think we're gonna get much more looking at this guy um but let me find his channel again this video because there was plenty of people that were not happy with the video uh i, I wonder why of, you know it was heartening to see um you know but like he must have like i don't know I, who knows what narrative he's latched onto about ai or whatever like that he thinks he's he's gonna make him rich or something i don't know yeah i i feel like it's really difficult to to rationalize with a guy like this yeah like this, this is a person who uh, it seems just does not understand other people's emotions. He's well, not a very empathetic guy. In 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 favor of, or against the idea that this is actually harmful to anybody, um, or that like you know I don't see how this is a uh, such a big deal. Like, but like he's just the way that he's he's completely bypassing any consideration for the perspective of the content creator and like just downplaying as if they they don't even matter it's like yeah oh how what he was just saying there like it's crazy that he's saying those sentences to me like mm -hmm. oh how dare they take something that i created and like yeah man that's exactly it how yeah. dare they fucking mm. do that right yeah <laughs> the bro's fucking ca cr cackling over this over, <laughs> over a person getting getting visibly upset about something you know that that's also not this is not you know a reaction from someone who's trying to you know convince someone else of his argument you know this is not someone being like listen i understand that that this is this is making you feel bad and stuff but but let me try to give my perspective you know this is just someone who's laughing at a person so here he is forever dirt yeah you, youtube sociopaths love ai art yeah yeah wouldn't like mm -hmm. that comment sounds accurate <laughs> This person says it took courage to put this out here. Yeah, man, it takes real courage to just admit to the world that you're a fucking sociopath. <laughs> mm.
Uh, uh, uh. Lots of triggered Luddites in the comments. Hell yeah. This Oh, this is uh, some real cope right here. Uh, you're missing that they want money. They think if they are offended enough that a big company is going to have to issue a settlement check at some point. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. That's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would definitely, you know, maybe help me be okay with certain things, but <laughs> it just any meaning just goes straight over their heads. The, see this in this right here, this this fucking more just elitist bullshit. Like he's deciding that all it proves is that it was more valuable as AI training material than it was as a work of art. Wow. Damn. Well, so, I mean, all all the all this video is doing right now is uh make me hate AI art more. <laughs> yeah, man. It's yeah. um pretty he generally pretty really shitty. convinced of anything. Uh, so you know, hopefully, fucking forever dirt sees this, and you know, like I don't know, man. <sighs> well, dude, if you see this, like, do better. Like and subscribe first of all. Yes. Uh,